What is up? This is the Chig coming at you with another Diablo 4 video. Today we are going to be talking about why you should, or shouldn't, play the Necromancer. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're giving away a copy of Diablo 4, or a video game of your choice. And don't forget to come catch me over on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays from 7 to 9. There'll be a link in the description. Let's hop right into it. So, you want to be a necromancer. You want to be a bone boy. You want to summon the dead, use blood magic, poison thing, all of the things. You want to you want to be an edge lord. Let's be real. That's why you played that's why you play necromancer. You want to be an edge lord. So, let's go over some of the pro the the pros. Um super easy leveling. As you can see, I'm here doing some speed leveling stuff. Um I'm running around with all of my minions. I have a little bit of thorns stacked up. I'm using the thorns thing on my big boy, my golem there. And I'm just running around smacking stuff. It's going good. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Nothing's ever difficult. You get to just run around and uh, kill whatever you want. Like you stack them up and you knock them down. Like the play style is really fun. It's really easy. You get to summon dudes. You get to watch your guys smack them. Like, very very easy Netflix and kill kind of thing so the next thing they scale really hard they do really 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 good damage they the end of the game they are some of the strongest um, you have options you can run around with your bone boys you can run around with your minions or you can sacrifice them to get buffs which I think is a really cool addition to the game you're able to sacrifice your summons in order to get some sort of buff per what type of summon you sacrifice so there's a lot of different options I couldn't go through them all without pulling them up and I just kind of want to give you the general overview here for this um, so some more pros the damage is obscene um, at no point with or without gear did I ever feel like I was not absolutely decimating everything I fought. Um, the amount of damage you do with your core abilities as well as your corpse abilities. So um, your spirit spenders and your corpse spenders just do obscene amounts of damage all the time. Um, your minions do good damage. Um, the hard things keeping them alive. There's a couple different ways you can keep them alive though. So you can't worry too much about that. Otherwise you're pretty good to go for the most part. Um, as you're leveling, you know, things scale up around you and literally you, you just delete the world. It's super easy. At no point on world tier one or world tier two, did I ever feel like I was struggling at no point did I ever feel like I needed to go like, oh, hey, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. It was like, oh, hey, maybe I should have did this earlier. Like, that was the only thought I really actually had, which, in the grand scheme of things, is really cool to think about. Um, also, there's nothing that you can't do with the Necromancer except for speedrun. So let's get into the cons of the class. So the negatives of the class. You're slow. You are super slow. The one mobility skill you have makes you slower. Blood Mist makes you slower. Um, you don't really have any ways to really get um, out of CCs. You don't really have any ways to move quickly other than dodging. Um, you don't really have a lot going on in terms of gotta go fast or gotta stay safe. Um, it's all about positioning and what skills and what minions you're using and stuff like that. So once you're into the game and you're trying to figure out what you're gonna do, keep that in mind. You're very powerful, but you're very slow. Think of yourself kind of like a steamroller. If something gets in front of you, it ain't gonna stop you but it might take you 10 minutes to get over the speed bump. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just walk and move real slow. Which isn't that big of a deal because we have horses and stuff, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's, only, that's really the only con I have for the class is the movement speed because the variety of builds is there. 
Um, the fun and impactfulness of the skills is there. Everything you do feels cool. You can stack up mobs. You can use your um, you can use your summons to knock them down. You can use your spells to knock them down. All of your spells feel really strong and impactful when you use them. So there's really no reason not to play the Necromancer as long as you're not somebody who feels like you need to be moving quickly. Um, myself, though, I like movement speed. I like the zoom zoom. So I like the rogue. I like the druid and werewolf skills. That's what I like. I like to be zooming around, going ham, doing the things. That being said, I get outclassed by people who play necros because, yeah, they, they're walking around with the dude behind them playing tuba music, but, you know, they're also dropping nukes every couple of seconds. And I'm over there going, beep, 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 and, you know, tickling mobs to death. Um, <clears throat> that's about it for the necro, though. Like, great class, great fun. Lots of options, um, lots of different viable leveling builds, lots of different in-game leveling builds. Like, you've got options, you've got fun to be had, you can play minions, you can sack minions, you can basically do whatever you want with the Necromancer, and it's it's got its own vibe, and it's fun, so if you want to be an edgelord, go roll with Necro. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you guys in Sanctuary.